Galileo Galilei was a Tuscan astronomer, mathematician, physicist, and philosopher being greatly responsible for the scientific revolution. Some of his accomplishments include improvements to the telescope, accelerated motion, and astronomical observations. Galilei was the first to discover the four largest satellites of Jupiter, which were named the Galilean moons in his honor. Galileo had also improved compass design and eventually opposed the geocentric view. His sight started to deteriorate at the age of 68 years old and eventually led to complete blindness. Thomas Alva Edison was an American inventor of Dutch origin and businessman who developed many devices that greatly influenced life around the world, including the phonograph and a long-lasting light bulb. In school, the young Edison's mind often wondered. He was noted to be terrible at mathematics, unable to focus, and had difficulty with the words and speech. This ended Edison's three months of official schooling. The cause of Edison's deafness has been attributed to a bout of scarlet fever during childhood and recurring untreated middle ear infections. Lauren Clark was called the Apostle of the Deaf in America and the Father of the Deaf by generations of American deaf people. With Thomas Hopkins Galladay, he co-founded the first school for the deaf in North America, the Hartford Asylum for the Education Instruction of the Deaf and Dumb, on April 15, 1817, in the old Bennett City Hotel, Hartford, Connecticut. Clerk's name sign would become the best known and most recognizable name sign in American deaf history and Clerk became the most renowned deaf person in American history. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the 32nd President of the United States of America. Roosevelt had several disabilities including vision impairment. He made his mark in American politics and became one of the most popular presidents in the history of the United States. He earned a degree from the Harvard College and was a corporate lawyer after earning a degree from the Columbia Law School. William Ellsworth Dami Hoy was an American center fielder in Major League Baseball who played for several teams from 1888 to 1902, most notably the Cincinnati Reds and two Washington DC franchises. He is noted for being the most accomplished deaf player in Major League history and is credited by some sources with causing the establishment of signals for safe and out calls. Hoy became deaf after suffering from meningitis at age 3 and went on to graduate from the Ohio State School for the Deaf in Columbus as class valedictorian. Hoy became the third deaf player in the major leagues after pitcher Ed Dundon and catcher Tom Lynch. Hoy also worked as an executive with Goodyear after supervising hundreds of deaf workers during World War I. In 1951, he was the first deaf athlete elected to membership in the American Athletic Association of the Deaf Hall of Fame. Marla Runyon is a marathon runner who is legally blind. She is the three-time national champion in the women's 5,000-meter run. Runyon was the first legally blind athlete to compete in the Olympics Games. She placed 8th in the 1,500 meter in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, making it the highest finish by an American woman in that event. In 2002, she finished as the top American at the 2002 New York City Marathon to post the second fastest debut time ever by an American woman. Heather is a beauty queen who was the first deaf Miss America title holder, having lost her hearing at the age of 18 months. Whitestone represented Alabama at the 1995 Miss America pageant held in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Despite being profoundly deaf, she performed ballet on point to the song Via Dolorosas as her talent, winning the preliminary talent competition as well as the preliminary swimsuit competition. Linda Bob is a deaf American actress who played the part of Linda the Librarian on the children's television program Sesame Street from 1971 to 2003. Bob has introduced thousands of children to sign language and issues surrounding the deaf community. 
Her role as Linda on Sesame Street is currently the longest recurring role in television history for a deaf person. Both attended Gallaudet University. She has been married to Ed Water Street since 1970. Like Bob, Water Street is also deaf. He also performed with the National Theatre of the Deaf. Gertrude Ederly was an American competitive swimmer. In 1926, she became the first woman to swim across the English Channel. She trained at the Women's Swimming Association, which produced such competitors as Eleanor Holm and Esther Williams. She joined the club when she was only 15. From this time, Gertrude began to break and establish more amateur records than any other woman in the world. Either Lee had poor hearing since childhood due to missiles, and by the 1940s, she was completely deaf. She spent the rest of her life teaching swimming to deaf children. Sabria Tenberken is a German social worker and co-founder of the organization Braille Without Borders. Sabria became gradually visually impaired and completely blind by the age of 13 due to retinal disease. She studied Central Asian Studies at Bonn University. In addition to Mongolian and modern Chinese, she studied modern and classical Tibetan in combination with sociology and philosophy. As no blind student had ever ventured to enroll in this kind of studies, she could not fall back on the experience of previous students, so she developed her own methods of studying her course of studying. It was thus that a Tibetan Braille script for the blind was developed in 1992, which became the official script for the blind in Tibet. In 1997, Sabriya traveled to Tibet alone in order to assess the situation of the blind there. Returning in 1998, she founded the Center for the Blind in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet, to educate blind people before the blind had not been able to attend school.